I went and did a you know a, a Scientology tour once. You know, and, did you and, really? Oh yeah, I've done yeah, and and uh, like, oh man, I'm OT th- I'm OT four. <laughs> I had I had you know this guy explaining to me like they put me in the e meter all that sort of stuff you know and this guy's telling me he says well you know thoughts have mass I'm like well, wait a second if you weighed me right now and I thought about something very very large you could tell the difference as you weighed me and again this guy's you know I'm sure Scientologists would say no he's not off script he wasn't speaking from Scientology whatever I'm sure he wasn't whatever but I'm like wait it would it would it would I would weigh my in- my weight would increase he goes, yeah. I guess so. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. Well, and what's I'm funny like, is Ooh. is oftentimes I could be forgiving of some of the language they use because, you know, let's say they'll say something like, uh, you know, uh, uh, thoughts have mass and mass times velocity equals momentum. You want momentum in your life? Go. And it's like, you know, I, I would hear something like that and I would think like, okay, um, this is, you know, not factually true. This is a useful metaphor to, you know, to conjure in your mind so that you get pumped up about doing it and you feel as if you're a freight train moving forward. Um, so I, I, I that, tend to be. That, ca- that wasn't the case, though. He yeah. said it had. And I'm like, well, you mean like literally it has mass like a weight. Like, oh, yeah. that, I'm like, and, that, and that was Scientology, right? Yeah. Like, that well, was, this that was a guy. Was... So I'm saying, I said, so if I thought of like the Titanic, would I have a big. But he just goes, man, I never thought about that. And I'm like. What do you mean you never thought about that? You tell this to people all day long, and you haven't thought about what these well, words mean. I mean, but 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 to be honest, that's that's the nature of black box thinking. Like to him, Scientology is a black is a a black box construct. All he knows is he does the things, and then he feels good, and it it's, well, it doesn't really matter to question the precepts underneath. And, and know, you know, there's know, a number I of just, things. But that's that that's the step when you got to stop and say to yourself, like, yeah, think about what things mean. Person opposite and thought actually has weight or mass to it. And so when <laughs> somebody thinks of something that has potentially some significance. Thought upset. has a weight or a mass to it. Yeah. That, that, that's a theory, though, isn't it? Um, uh, well, that's, that's how we belief. operate in that's Scientology. A belief, yeah. Yeah. That's a belief. And, that's a, but that's um, not been proven in science, has it? Thought doesn't well, have no, a weight this, and mass in science. This is a religion that's not a science. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Supposing it, that thought doesn't have a weight or a mass, then that would render this machine useless. Uh, yeah, okay. What's the point? <laughs> He's like, cool story, bro. <laughs> I guess it wasn't just one guy saying this. <laughs> Barely it's in the script. Unless it's the uh, same guy. Yeah. yeah that was, uh, it was, he was very earnest and sincere. Um, hmm. Wow. And this is the thing that they found out, you know, like, oh, you're a magician. Like, you know, well, you know, Ron Hubbard, like, met a Chinese magician. He started describing all these magic and miracles he could do. I'm like, that sounds amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>